this is a new setup. I think I like this versus over there. The only downside is I have to make my bed every time I film. Not good. Assignment's time! Come on, grab your computers. We're going to very decent lands with Sarah the Psycho and all of her subscribers. The fun will probably end with Sarah Bailey's time. Being uncool. So hey everyone, <laughs> it's Sarah here. And this video has been requested, um, I think ever since I joined YouTube. Uh, and that is to do a room tour! A tour of the bedroom, the Sarahman's headquarters, the sleeping facility. I'm actually super duper excited to make this video. I love watching room tours, I'm so excited to make one. So I hope you don't hate it too much. If anything, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you all have a nice day. I guess I'll give you all a full kind of view of the area. The first thing here is this bookshelf. There used to be two of them right here, but it took up a lot of room and I realized that I didn't actually need all that storage space. So I managed to shove it all into here and now only one remains. Uh, the top shelf is filled with notes and stuff from friends and family. These are like old film. They're my grandpa's from his travels throughout the years. This is like a vintage Canon camera, which I decorated for art. He's been my stuffed animal ever since I was a fetus. This is Galapanda, named her when I was six, I think. The second shelf. This is a box full of like electronics, wires, camera equipment, all sorts of stuff. These are my main lenses I use, so I just kind of keep them out because I, I like to switch them often. This is my camera bag and the last shelf. This is a picture of me, Wade, and Katie when we were little. Uh, sorry. I painted the frame myself. These are a pair of old squash glasses. They used to belong to my dad. I guess he wore them while playing sports. I just kind of like the whole vintage glasses look. I don't wear them because you can't see out of them very well, but I think they're pretty cool to have. These are my gems. This is my favorite one. It's an amethyst. Super pretty. I used to have a sheet that told me all the names, but I forgot. So we're not going to name them right now, but we're going to appreciate them. Actually, these two I stole off of a street in Italy. Like, they were on the sidewalk, so I'm like, well, might as well. This one I got at like a festival they have in our town every year. In the sunlight, it reflects rainbow sometimes. It's pretty cool. This is my lighter. I just I rhinestone it because why not? It's for my it's for my candles. I heard it's just like a handy thing to have. This is my money jar. Whenever I find loose change on the floor, put it in here. And no, I didn't just casually find a hundred dollar bill in my room. It's like it's like birthday money. And I really like this. It's for my penny board. It's like this tag that came with it. I got this in Ottawa. Feels simple diary. Basically, you get to like fill up these multiple choice answers. Let's all read out one that I filled. I, your day was, I chose paper or plastic. Explain why. It was neither good nor bad. Could have different opinions on each. I decided to put it by Alexa Chung underneath because it is an amazing book and looks nice like this. This beer bottle, actually, I don't know if you saw the video, but when I went to Bufferfest, I met Grace Helbig, Mamrie Hart, Hannah Hart, um, and we watched them perform like on a stage and they were drinking beers because that's what they do. <laughs> so after the show, I went up onto the stage and I took the beer bottle that Mamrie Hart drank from. And it's been here ever since because it is my prized possession. I talked about this in one of my videos. It has like the positivity card. And under here, I have a bunch of books. Here is like old school work. I keep it to save for exams. Behind here, I have a chessboard that I begged my parents for, but I actually have not used yet. It's been like two years. I feel so bad. So if anyone wants to come over and play chess uh, and make use of the present that my parents got me, that would be great. Then here I keep all my blank canvases. Just for storage so when I need them I can just grab them. Ladies and gents, that is my bookshelf. Uh, over here I keep my penny board. This is the world map silhouette which I painted on my wall. I have a video of me painting it if you want to check it out. I'll link it below. This is a lampshade that I made which I will also link below. Um, it was very frustrating but worth it. Uh, this is my bed. I don't have a bed frame so basically it's just 
two mattresses on top of each other pushed against my wall, which is very cozy. And um, I put all my pillows in the corner of the bed because I love sleeping in corners. This is a bedspread I got from Ikea and I love it. This is some pillows I stole from the basement. And that is a giant stitch. And this is my Vampire Weekend poster. I got it when I bought the vinyl. This is my lava lamp. It was an impulse buy. The only con is that when you turn it on, basically, I didn't know how they worked until now. There's a light bulb underneath here that heats up these sort of bubble things and this goop um, is actually like a solid lump that sits at the bottom until it's heated enough which takes about four hours to heat so it's not like you can just turn it on and off so I don't use it that much but it's cool to have I talked about this in one of my other videos this is my birthday cake candle from Winners uh, this is basically empty drawer it just has iPhone necklace holder my iPod and some extra headphones uh, underneath is where I keep all my vinyls and record player It worked out very nicely. These are where all the vinyls are. This is my record player. Moving on. This is a giant picture frame that my grandma got me for my 13th birthday. She gives um, every grandchild on their 13th birthday um, a big kind of picture frame of old photos. And then my family writes nice messages all over it, which is very sweet. Throwback Thursday. Rockets. Uh, this is my laundry bin, and that is my onesie waiting to get back on my body once I'm done filming. <laughs> It's the truth though. This is my dresser. This is a bottle I got at a thrift store. Fake flowers. I want real flowers. Send me flowers in my P.O. box. This is my retainer. It should be in my mouth. Whatever. This is my jewelry box. It's from my great grandma. It was like pink and floral, but I painted it over turquoise because it was all ripping and breaking. In here is just important jewelry and charms and other collective things from friends and family. These are my clothing drawers, socks, gear stuff, shirts, pants, pajamas, and the newest edition because of worlds, cheer shirts. I have this like space in between my dresser and the wall. So I'm like, okay, well I'll just shove my tripod there. This is a girl's rule flashing sign that I actually got from a cheer competition. This is my window seat. I used to sleep here, but because it sticks out from the rest of the house, it gets so cold. I want to find something cool to do with it, but I don't know what. Because I really like the window and the light. I need something cool. Give me suggestions. This is a dead butterfly. Underneath is yet another map. This is where I live, basically. My art desk. <sighs> my water. Does drinking out of jars make me cooler? This is my little organizer. I have my knives for stabbing bitches. No, I'm kidding, they're not carving knives. I labeled each drawer, organized them, and the last part of my bedroom is my closet. Sweater, 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 sweaters. Hats, hats, hats. Bathing suits, bathing suits. Old art that I don't like, but my mother is making me keep. I hoard a lot of backpacks. And then my purse just hangs off. Oh my god, is that it? That is it. That is the end of my room tour. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'd love for you to join me again, so make sure you click that subscribe button. Catch y'all next time. Bye!